Hello guys, this is my first video tutorial related to data cleaning in Excel. Last month I faced a problem. I had to clean our data set consisting of 23 different variables and each variables they were so messed up. Here I am showing you one example of a variable that is also messed up variables. Here I am taking the example of sex variable. It consists of either male, female, or other, but it in the data set it has too many variations present for each of these three categories. Let's add filter to this data set. Here, see there are too many. Variations of just three categories. We need to classify all these into male, female, and other. In order to solve this problem, I found a solution. It might not be uh, the best solution, but I found one solution. If uh, if you have other best solution to solve this problem, then you can share me through comment. I solved this problem using one process. First of all, I created the pivot table of this variable. I selected this variable and then go to insert and then pivot chart and then OK. Then the variable selected variable comes over here. Then you just drag this to access categories. Then you can see different variations over here. I am removing this one. Now I need to categorize all these variations into three: either male, female, or others. I created one column per male. Another for female and another for others. Then I categorize all these variations into three groups male, female, and others. I have completed categorizing all variations into three categories. Unfortunately, there were no any options related to others, so I am removing this one. There are either males or females. I need to categorize all the data set into either male or female. Now I am returning to my data set. In order to solve the problem, I will create dummy columns for each of the options or the categories for the variable we are cleaning. For this sex variable, there are two possible options, either male or female. So I am creating two columns. One is dummy male for male category, and another is dummy female for female categories now what i will do is i will search this in the list of this male category and if it is present in that list then i will write one and if it is absent i will write zero similarly for another column i will search same in the list of females another column 
and if it is present in that list then I'll write 1 and if it is absent I'll write 0. For this I'll be using one function called maths is equals to maths. I will be sourcing this one comma I will be sourcing this in the list of this comma here I need exact math so I am placing zero over here bracket close enter okay it is writing an A it is not present over here so it is writing an A now let's add formula to this column also is equals to math m a t c h this cell comma i'll be sourcing this in the list of uh, this column comma uh, i need exact math so comma zero bracket close enter it is displaying 27 it is because this character this variation is present in the 27 row if you search then you can find in the 27 row this variation is present okay but this is not what we are doing we need to write one if this option is present in the list and uh, zero if uh, the option is not present in the list but what it is showing if the option is not present it is showing this value and if the option is present and it is showing number so what I am doing now is I am using if function if the value that we are obtaining from this math function is number it will be one otherwise it is zero so I'm using is number if it is number if the outcome from mass function is number then it is one otherwise it is zero it is showing zero because this is not present in the list of name similarly i will change this formula also if is number if it is number then it is one otherwise if it is not number then it is zero okay now let's drag this formula there are too many data sets so yeah the formula is copied throughout the column now we have that's it now let's find out the sum of these two columns so that if uh, it is present in both uh, columns then that can be identified uh, through that let's create a column name check and let's add this to now let's add filter either 0 or 1 0 means they are not categorized in both categories so let's select 0 here they are 0 because their six variable it is empty now let's select all uh, okay now let's create a final variable I'll be using if function is equals to if if this is, is equals to one then then you will be checking over these two columns and if it is not one then you will be writing an A not available because it is empty. Now let's add. If it is one, then we'll be checking in either of the column. If this is equals to one, 
then it is level. Otherwise, it, it, it is even. Let's close this bracket. Now, this is phenol. In this way, we can categorize this unclean variable into clean variable. Then after doing all this, then copy this variable and then paste as a value. Then you can remove these dummy columns. Let's check. If it is zero, then it must say an A, not available. Okay. In this way, you can clean all types of uh, string variables or unclean variables into clean variables. This is specific to categorical variables. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any confusion, then you can contact me through my Viber or through my email address that is provided in my channel description. And also you can drop comments in my YouTube channel. And please, please, please don't forget to comment, share and subscribe my channel.